Welcome. In this video I will guide you through a visualization for healing, inspired by the Simonton technique for visualizing recovery from illness and pain. This visualization includes a particular relaxation technique called progressive muscle relaxation which was first devised by Dr Edmund Jacobson. By visualising your desired outcome, we begin to elicit influence over our healing. With mental imagery, we affect change at a cellular level. Our mind changes our molecules. Changing our thoughts can alter our immune system and our hormonal balances to promote physical change. When you are ready, close your eyes. I would like you to start by becoming aware of your breathing. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. In and out. in and let that go and as you breathe out mentally say the word relax breathe in and relax Breathe in and relax. By paying attention to our outward breath, we actively invite our rest and digest response. Our parasympathetic nervous system like you now to draw your attention away from breathing and towards your face, noticing any tensions in the muscles, particularly around your eyes, your forehead, your eyebrows and your jaw. Make a mental image of any tension it could be a tied knot, a clenched fist, a stretched elastic, an inflated balloon, or maybe a pulley under load. And now depending on your image, mentally picture loosening, releasing, relaxing, softening and letting go of any tension detected in this area. I want you to tune in to the feeling of relaxation that this creates and allow that feeling from this area to wash over and spread through your whole body. We are going to steadily work through our body head to toe, tensing and releasing our muscles to experience the striking contrast as we amplify and then loosen and relax isolated muscle groups throughout the whole body. Begin by squeezing and tightening the muscles in your face and eyes. Hold and let that go. And we'll do that once more. But this time, as you release the tension, you may want to add a sigh of relief. So again, squeeze and tighten the muscles in your face and around your eyes. 
hold and let that go. Again, draw your attention to the feeling of relaxation as it sweeps through the rest of your body. We will now move down to your jaw, clenching and relaxing. Don't forget, if you want to sigh as you release the tension, this can support that relaxation to spread. You may now want to move to your neck to identify any tension. Squeeze. Hold. And relax. down to your shoulders, squeezing your shoulders, bringing them up to your ears, holding and letting go of the tension, really feeling your shoulders drop and the relaxation waving through the rest of your body. Draw your attention to your back. Find areas that you can tense, tighten. Amplify what you're already feeling. Hold and relax. Focus on your upper arms. Again, creating tension, holding, and letting that go. And your lower arms, squeeze, hold. Relax. Your hands clench, make a fist, hold, and let that go. Let's now draw our attention to our chest. And before we do, let's reconnect with our breathing. In through the nose. Hold. And relax. Let's do that again. In through the nose. Hold. And relax. And now bringing our attention back to our chest to squeeze and relax. Moving down to our tummy, noticing any tightness and taking that further, really squeezing and tensing our tummies. Holding and relax. Moving down to our legs now. We focus on our bottom. Squeeze, tighten, tense. Hold that. And relax. Moving on to our thighs.
squeeze, tighten, hold, and relax to our calves, squeeze, tighten, hold, and relax. Moving to your ankles, you may wish to move your ankle in a way that creates a little bit more tension, a little more pressure. If you can squeeze, then do. Again, hold that tension temporarily and relax. And we finish off with our feet. So let's screw and tighten and scrunch our toes. Pulling our feet in, creating tension temporarily. Hold. And relax. Now that we've moved from head to toe and worked through any tension that we may be holding, to let that go, I now want you to bring to mind a place, real or imagined, where you feel relaxed or safe or peaceful or calm. Spend some time focusing on this place as vividly as you can. Notice everything that you can see, that you can smell, that you can hear, and importantly, how you feel when you are here, in this place. And just rest in this safe place, with your body relaxed and comfortable for a minute or so. I want you now to mentally picture your ailment or pain, either literally or maybe symbolically, in a way that makes sense to you. I want you to think of your illness or pain as an irregularity a glitch, maybe, that deviates from your body's vast and mighty system of defence and repair. See the sight of the pain or illness as an area of weakness and fragility in a strong, intelligent system. Whatever might be causing this ailment, it is the feebler piece, standing little chance against your immune system. Remember that from birth, our bodies are primed to continually detect and destroy harmful bacteria and infection and to heal from damage and injury. Your recovery will again rely on your own body's healthy, natural defenses that have served you well over the years. you are receiving any treatment for your ailment, picture that treatment coming into your body in a way that makes sense to you. This may be literally or metaphorically. See your treatment as a powerful ally, joining forces with your own incredible immune system to target and clear affected areas with utter ease and success. Your immune system can tackle this on its own, but both your immune system and the treatment have a shared interest in the removal of this imperfection. If your treatment has any strong side effects, imagine your healthy cells 
easily repairing any damage or imbalance, as they do all the time. Picture your own army of white blood cells coming into this region, identifying any irregularity to usual health and clearing the area. Your legion of white blood cells are strong, smart and careful and effectively flush out any intruder or defect. This is what they do best. Your ailment is no contest for your immune system. Picture the ailment shrinking. See any debris from this activity being cleared away by your white blood cells and being flushed from your body through the liver and kidneys and eliminated in the urine and stool. Continue to see the ailment shrinking until it is all gone. Feel yourself having more energy and improved comfort. See your relationships with friends and family strengthening as the area of trouble shrinks and finally disappears. See your white blood cells flowing to the site of any pain and soothing the area. Give your body the command to heal itself and visualize yourself becoming well and full of energy. Picture yourself reaching your goals in life and fulfilling your purpose. Picture your relationships with people becoming more meaningful, having and focusing on a positive, well-defined purpose and reason for health will support your healing. Recognize and feel connected with your sense of agency and involvement in your own healing and see yourself doing this mental imagery three times a day to harness and promote your own natural resource. We have now completed the visualization for healing and recovery. It is recommended in the Simonton technique to practice this visualization three times a day for optimal healing. If you struggle to follow the activities, don't worry, it does get easier as you practice this visualization. After this video, I encourage you to engage in self-care, be mindful of the process that we've just been through and take things easy for the next hour or so. You have just experienced some of the vast, often untapped potential of your mind and body. Come back as often as you need. And now as we part, I encourage you to savour the gifts of this exercise that linger well beyond this moment. Now go and take advantage of what you just did.